Hello there, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop Technology. Check our website at raywaldo.com for any comments or questions. Do not leave them here on YouTube. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to install Ubuntu Linux version 12.04 to this Chromebook. This is the Google Chromebook, the Acer C7 version that's available for, uh, for $199. And so the first thing we do is just turn it on. And uh, it takes a little bit longer now. We've already put it into developer mode earlier in an earlier version. Check that out. And so it tells us where you have the OS verification off. Now, at this point, we're going to boot it but not log in. So uh, we'll go ahead and hit the Control D and get it to uh, come up in the first phase of the login. And here, we want to make sure that we have a, uh, a, a network connection. You can use the wired network or a, a wireless network. I've already signed into my wireless network, so we're okay. Uh, let's go ahead and select it. Uh, make sure that we are on the network. And it is, this one is trying to connect already, so we probably wouldn't have to do that. Okay, so it's doing this little flashy thing here, and now it's turned black, so it's already ready. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and go into the terminal mode, and we do that by hitting the Control, Alt, and F2. Control, Alt, and then hit F2, which is the forward arrow button. And that puts us into a terminal mode. Here at this point, we want, uh, it's going to say uh, a login, so we want to log in as uh, uh, log in as Kronos, and uh, that is C H R O N O S. Okay, so let me do that. C H R O N O S, and hit enter. Okay, it didn't log us in. Hit enter. There we go. Okay. And uh, now it shows us at Kronos at localhost and then the dollar sign. And at this point, uh, we want to type a rather long uh, call here. And it's going to use a program called WGET, like well, it, I guess you would say. And it then uses a uh, an HTTP uh, a, a URL, so it's HTTP colon slash slash goo, G -O -O dot G -L slash T N Y G A. And then we're going to add a separate command, and we do that by adding the uh, semicolon, and then we're going to type uh, space sudo. I want to be super king here, but space bash b a s h space t n y g a. That same uh, few letters that I typed a little while ago. Let you look at that real close there. I'll pull it in closer. Let you get it. Get it there, and I'll have this on my website too, so you can see it. Okay, and once you've done that. Then you just hit enter, and it goes through some uh, some steps here, and it comes down to the bottom, and it's uh, at the bottom. It gives us a little uh, statement here that asks the size in gigabytes you want to reserve for Ubuntu. Okay, so now this device comes with a 320 gigabyte drive. That's a pretty good size uh, drive. It is very large for uh, for Chrome, because most of the Chrome you're doing that in the web anyway, so you don't really need a lot of hard drive space, in my opinion, or at least I don't. So uh, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 200 gigabytes out of that 320 and give that to Linux, because Linux can use, be used offline, and you can store data and work on it offline in Linux, where you can't really do that in Chrome. Also, Linux allows you to install real programs that you can use. Those programs take up space. Most of what you put on Chrome side 
are just kind of like links to sites on the web. So you don't really need a lot of space. Chrome doesn't take a whole lot, but Linux can. So how much do I want to add here in uh, gigabytes? So I want to add 200. Now it says 200. I can put from 5 to 293. Uh, but I'm going to put 200 and enter that. Okay. Now it says uh, your Chromebook will reboot. And once it comes up, the, the difference about the developer mode, it takes about 30 seconds longer unless you hit Control D and then that speeds it up considerably. Um, so it's taking longer to boot up. But uh, here we are at the, the screen and this is the normal screen. And uh, so we're going to select a, a wireless connection. And uh, this is one I've already signed into. Well, it wants to start over again, so I'm going to have to So it goes through its little uh, flashing thing trying to get connected and then turns all black, means it is connected. And so we're connected to the network now. And so what we do is now go into the terminal mode and we do that by hitting the control and the alt buttons at the same time and then pressing F2. Okay, and then you can let go of all of them. And uh, it gives us a login host here. Let me pull you in just a little bit so you can see what, what's going on a little better. Okay, it says there's a local, local host and uh, we can log into that. And we log in with the user Chronos, C-H-R-O-N-O-S, C-H-R-O-N-O-S, and hit enter. Okay, and so we're logged in, and at that point... Uh, we're going to type in a long command and use a program called wget and I don't know how you pronounce that but anyway I'm going to pull it around so I can type it again and the uh, what we're typing is wget space http colon forward slash forward slash goo g o o dot g l slash t as in Tom, N as in Nancy, Y as in uh, whatever Y, and then G as in Go, and then A as in Alpha. And then we're going to add another command on to the end of that. Now that's going to go out and get that file, T-N-Y-G-A, from GL. Uh, once it's got it, we want to automatically execute another file, and so we type a semicolon and a space, and then sudo, this is the new command, space, bash, space, and then that program that we got, we're going to run it, T-N-Y-G-A. Okay, got all that. Whoops, we're pretty close there, but uh, you should be able to see it. Okay, there, it's a little clearer. All right, so once we've got that in there, then we hit enter, and it goes through its thing.
And uh, now it says we're going to have a version of OS that, that isn't 64-bit. We'll use an official Chrome. That's okay. So just hit enter to return. Now it's starting to download all these files and install them. There are 52 different files and they all have to be installed. So this takes quite a while. I'm going to stop the machine and then we'll start back up when it comes back around. Uh, it will take a while and I'm going to try to keep record of, of how long that takes so you can get an idea. Uh, so we want to stop the machine and then we'll pick up again when all of this is, is loaded. Okay, see you then. Okay, we're getting real close to being finished with this phase of things. Uh, you can tell how close you are because there are, uh, the names are A through AA through BZ, and we're at BY, so we're getting real close here. Okay, now so it's going through and doing some business here and checking, make sure everything's right. And by the way, that uh, break was uh, about 25 minutes that I uh, had the machine turned off. Not quite 25, probably closer to 20 minutes. 20 minutes that it was off between these two. And so now we're actually uh, resizing the files, the file, uh, uh, the hard disk, and to create space for uh, Linux to go on to. When it gets through partitioning, and this will take uh, about 10 or 15 minutes generally, when it gets through partitioning, then uh, we will reboot again, and we'll go through some of the same processes again, but that time it'll actually install, download and install the, uh, the Linux system. Okay, and it's rebooting. And we don't want to do anything, just let it go and do its own thing. This is, this is the code name of the device, Parrot Lapwing AC4258. The beeps say it's about to load up Chrome. Or actually it's loading up uh, Linux. I'm sorry. So we're further along than I thought. Okay, now that's actually Linux loading 